Hello everyone. Uh, as you know that I am doing geography previous questions from civil services examinations, which is nothing but is the IS exam. Uh, we are dealing with questions of uh, prelims examinations. Okay. So uh, till last class we have done the questions of year 1993. Today we are going to see the questions of 1994. Okay. So in one video itself we will complete the entire question of 1994. Okay. Uh, this is about myself. So let's see uh, this 1994 question from the civil services prelims examinations. Okay. So this is the first question. An aeroplane takes off from 30 degree north latitude, 50 degree east latitude, and land at opposite end of the earth. Where it does land. Okay. So these are the op option. Uh, north 30 degree north latitude 50 degree west longitude okay so the wo, ek position pe uda raha hai, i mean you know 30 degree north latitude and 50 degree east latitude okay and land at opposite end of the earth theek hai to kahan pe jab jo jo hamara earth uske opposite end mein land ho raha hai to kis jagah pe ye land hoga okay so 30 degree south latitude, 50 degree west longitude, 50 degree north latitude, 30 degree west longitude, 30 degree south uh, latitude, 130 degree west longitude. Okay, so if this is the case, it will land at 30 degree north latitude and 50 degree uh, west longitude. Okay, so the answer is A. Uh, next, the length of its day and the tilts of its axis are almost identical to those of the earth. Okay, okay. So, like our, uh, our you know, earth tilted. So, in that way, who is more tilted? Uranus, Neptune, Saturn, Mars. So, it's actually who is our Mars? Hai. Mars is also tilted like Earth. Okay, so the answer is D. Uh, next, the shortest air route from Perth to London. If you move from Perth to London, what will be the shortest? Hoga? Perth, Bombay, Rome, London, Perth, Ankara, Paris, London, Perth, Aden, Paris, London, Perth, Mombasa, Mombasa Rome, London. Okay. So, so if you are moving from Perth to London, so the shortest route is the Perth, Ankara, Paris, London. Okay. So the answer is B. Okay. See, there is outside Ajahn is going on. So you might uh, get some sound of Ajahn. So don't worry with that. Okay. Yeah. Next question. The Himalayas are formed of parallel fold ranges of which of the oldest range the Siwalik range the lesser himalayas the great himalayas the dawladar range okay so the himalayas are formed parallel fold ranges of great himalayas range okay so the answer is c Okay, the hallmark of water set development in in the semi-arid region of India is okay. Just the water set development in the semi-arid region in India is establishment of set on large scale uh, so that the rainwater does not evaporate. Uh, undertaking the earthworks, soil conservation measures and tree plantation so as to conserve soil moisture and recharge on ground water okay drilling deep uh, tube well so as to tap water at the rock strata level okay setting up of tank by banking water from seasonal rivers so, the hallmark of watershed development 
in semi arid region in india is the undertaking of earthworks soil conservation measures and tree plantation so as to conserve soil moisture and the recharge underground water okay this is the answer so the answer is b next which one of the following region regions of asia is experiencing highest annual growth rate of population okay so south asia southeast asia central asia west asia तो देखिए ये 1994 का क्वेश्चन है तो उस समय के हिसाब से देर वॉज यू नो द हाइस्ट एनुअल ग्रोथ ऑफ ऑफ पॉपुलेशन वॉज साउथ ईस्ट एशिया ओके सो द आंसर इज बी आई थिंक अभी भी वही होगा बट इफ दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज कमिंग नाउ डेज सो वी हैव टू सी द करेंट सिनेरियो नेक्स्ट the monsoonal rainfall decreases as one goes towards the west to west and northwest in ganga plain okay and reason the moisture bearing monsoonal winds uh, go higher up as one move to move in the ganga plain okay dekhi isme jo pehla statement hai the monsoonal rainfall decreases as one goes towards the west and the northwest in the ganga range is yes, which is sahi hai but the second is, uh, the reason is the moisture bearing uh, monsoonal winds go higher up as one move from ganga plains no this is not the reason of uh, for for assertion okay so the answer is c next thora mana belongs to the ethnic heart of the uh, Sangthian, Huns, Yuchis, Sakals. So the जो तोरा माना हैं, they are they belongs to Huns. Okay, so the answer is B. Next, which one of the following types of erosion is responsible for the formation of chumbal uh, ravines? Splash, seep, rill, gully. तो देखिए जो चंबल चंबल रेविन से ये जो है इट्स अ गली इरोजन सो द आंसर इज डी नेक्स्ट व्हेन इट इज नून अलॉन्ग 82 टू डिग्री थर्टी मिनट ईस्ट लॉन्ग एटीट्यूड अलॉन्ग ओके व्हाट डिग्री ऑफ द लैटिट्यूड विल बी 6:30 थर्टी एम Along 165 degree east, along 67 degree, 30 minute west, zero degree east or west, along 82 degree, 30 minute west. This answer actually C will be. It will be actually uh, zero degree east or west. Okay. Next question. Who among the following become the prime minister of India without earlier chief minister of the state? Okay. I mean. इसमें से कौन डायरेक्टली प्राइम मिनिस्टर बने थे इससे पहले वो चीफ मिनिस्टर नहीं थे मुरारजी देसाई चरण सिंह वीपी सिंह चंद्रशेखर पी वी नरसिंह राव ओके तो देखिए जो हमारे जो चंद्रशेखर थे ही वॉज द ओनली प्राइम मिनिस्टर हु वॉज नॉट अर्लियर द चीफ मिनिस्टर ओके सो द आंसर इज डी रेस्ट मुरारजी देसाई चरण सिंह वी पी सिंह नरसिम्हा राव ये सब लोग चीफ मिनिस्टर रह चुके हैं प्राइम मिनिस्टर बनने से पहले नेक्स्ट द डेंसिटी ऑफ कैटल पॉपुलेशन पर हंड्रेड हेक्टेयर्स ऑफ ग्रॉस क्रॉप एरिया इज हाइएस्ट इन बिहार हरियाणा मध्य प्रदेश उत्तर प्रदेश देखिए इसका जो आंसर है द डेंसिटी ऑफ कैटल पॉपुलेशन पर हंड्रेड हेक्टेयर of crop area is highest in haryana next the average elevation of tibet plateau above sea level is 2 km 3 km 4 km 5 km to iska jo jo tibet plateau average elevation of tibet plateau hai above sea level it is 4 km Uh, next, which one of the following soil 
type of India is rendered infertile by the presence of excess iron. Okay, deserts and alluvial podzolic laterite. तो देखिए जो the soil type of India is rendered infertile infertile by the presence of excess iron, which is laterite. Okay, answer is D. Uh, next, the ideal climatic condition for the cultivation of rice are. देखिए इसमें पानी ज़्यादा चाहिए, rainfall ज़्यादा हमें चाहिए, तो उस हिसाब से uh, we have to answer. So rainfall above 100 centimeter, temperature above 25 centimeter, cool and moist climate for the entire crop, crop period. Uh, rainfall below 100 centimeter, temperature below 25 degrees centigrade warm and dry climate during the entire crop period this means our best suitable hoga for the cultivation of rice is rainfall above 100 cm up to 120 cm ke aas pas ya usse upar ki rainfall hame chahiye hoti for the cultivation of rice so yahan pe jo option diye hue hain uske hisab se ye a hi hamara best hoga because in this rainfall is above 100 cm temperature above 25 degrees centigrade so the answer is a okay so this is the end of our 1994 question uh, we'll see more questions from the coming years thank you